Sunday and Duke beat down Wake Forest by 29 Thursday. Then at the nine and the four carry the three. Then Maryland should leave skid marks on Wake's hindquarters to the tune of 43 points. Factor in the extra incentive that the Terps have not won an outright regular season ACC title since 1980. They've won 16 straight at home, and it ought to be ugly, but doesn't always work that way. Terps, Maryland off the opening, opening tip. Juan Dixon cannot get some. Dixon, the only guy in history with 2,000 points, 300 steals, and 200 three-pointers. Speaking of Dixon and threes, holla. That moves him into third on the all-time Maryland scoring list behind Lynn Bias and Albert King. Later in the first half, Taj Oden finds Lonnie back through, bends the rim. Two of his 25, Wake down three until Craig Dawson's three ties it at 31. Wake up two, Baxter. Y'all got to give me some of this. 19 points in the first half. He passes Walt Williams for 10th all-time on the Terps list. But Dawson was straight off the meat rack. Six of seven deep in the first half. Ken, you got to drop that like it's hot. 22 points in the first half. Second half, just over 30 seconds left. We're tied at 87. Chris Wilcox, tough basket inside. He had 13, Terps up two. Wake looking for the win. Broderick Hicks, three-pointer. Blocked by Blake. Josh Howard, mad hustle. Mad, crazy hustle. 18 points, 15 boards. Watch it again. Howard all over the court. Gets inside of four Terps. Terps looking for the win. Dixon drives, misses the shot. Howard grabs the rebound and calls timeout. But Wake is out of timeouts. You got to tell these guys, you're out of timeouts. Don't make the call. Shades of Michigan. Oh, yeah, the remix machine. Michigan, North Carolina, 93 national title. Chris Weber called the timeout. Tar Heels win the championship. Then where's Rich Eisen when I need to mess with him about that game? <laughs> Back to the here and now, Dixon makes, makes the first free throw of the Tech. Howard can do nothing but look. He misses the second. One point lead for the Terps. Wake, not done. Inbounds, baseball, Baxter tips it right to Hicks. Shot at the buzzer, just misses. Howard, in tears later, said, quote, it was instinct. I can make a million excuses, but I just messed up. Terps win at 90 to 89. 10 straight wins for Maryland, but as coach Gary Williams said, and the mother of all understatements, we were very fortunate to win that game. Craig Dawson, 27 for Wake, but only two baskets in the second half as the Deeks fall to the Terps for the seventh straight time. After the game, Juan Dixon talked about the wild bananas finish. Coach informed us uh, during our last time out that they didn't have any left. So uh, once he called a timeout, you know, I think uh, a lot of my teammates and, and myself looked towards the ref and saying that they didn't have any timeouts left, and uh, he was able to get a technical, technical foul. Why do you feel sorry for him? No. Wow. I mean, our job was to come here and win a game tonight. So uh, I'm not going to feel sorry for him for calling a technical, technical foul and uh, for him missing a free throw. I mean, that's how the game goes sometimes. They're a good team, and they're going to do some damage in the tournament. Number one, Kansas at Nebraska. Second half, Nebraska up six. John Robinson, three. For show. Huskies haven't beaten a top-ranked team since 1982. Next Nebraska possession. Kerry Cochran. Player, y'all got to cut that out. Huskers shoot 49% from deep. Late second half, Kansas down nine, getting their own three swerve on. Jeff Boshi pops a three. He had 14. Kansas down six. Next possession. Drew Gooden to Boshi straight, yoking another three. Gooden himself, 26 points, 14 boards. 20th double-double this year. One shy of the school record by Ray Floyd Prince. Wow. But here comes John Robinson. Lord have mercy, Dan. He done made his kin folks so proud. Buffy and Jody and Mr. Friend. Well, that's on his daddy's side. On his mama's side, Pookie and him, Ray Ray, Lucretia, baby daddy. Cornhuskers, a school record, 18 threes in the game. Under two left, Robinson up top. Knocks down another three off the hizzle for shizzle. He had six threes himself. Under a minute left, Ballard drives, gets the tough lay in and the to fall. 139 shots taken in this game. Just over 30 seconds left, freshman Keith. Langford, booyah! Before that, Langford, only 5 of 28 from three land in his career. Kansas up one. Final seconds, Nebraska down one. Jeff Turek tries to tip in off the Robinson jumper. Uh-uh. Ball game. Sent the Huskers carry Cochran, who had 22. I'm not in it for moral victories. Tomorrow, when we wake up, it will be a loss. Tough loss. But if you're wondering if the freshman Langford was nervous about that three-pointer, see if you can gleam anything from what he said post-game. Said, I figured if it was coming my way, I was going to go up and shoot it. You play basketball to be in that type of situation. So, Dan, my guess is, no, was not nervous. Despite trailing for nearly all the final 15 minutes, Jayhawks win their 12th straight. 
Third-ranked Duke stepped out of conference play to host St. John's. Coach K, 6-1, lifetime against St. John's. Marcus Hatton. St. John's up 5, no. Kyle Cup, the putback. St. John's by 7. St. John's led 20-13 on a cup basket at 425 Eastern. Then here comes Duke. Mike Dunleavy to Carlos Boozer. Duke down 2, Jason Williams. Duke by 7. Chris Duhon. Duke by 15. Williams, who finished with 26. Duke up 48 to 21. Duke up 48 to 21 on Jason Williams 3 at 502 Eastern. So Duke allowed just one point in 37 minutes of real time. Long day. You and I could have gotten like a free throw, maybe. Mike Jarvis, who said afterwards, I hope my good friend Mike Krzyzewski lets me come back. This was St. John's worst loss in over 79 years. The Red Storm came in having won five of their last six. More college hoops, number 23, Indiana and Michigan State. Just over a minute left. Jared Jeffries backs in on Aloysius and Agagne. 24-hour ATM, banks open. 16 vowels in Jeffries and Anagagne's names. At the other end, Marcus Taylor to Adam Ballinger, who nails the triple. His second three of the game, he had 13.7 boards, tied at 53. 6.8 ticks left. Michigan State by one. Tom Coverdale makes, made his first free throw, needs a second, but he missed. Indiana forced to foul Allen Henderson, who came up with the board. Henderson would make both his free throws. Spartans by three. Coverdale has taken and hit more threes than any Hoosier player. He's also missed more. Tom Izzo Spartans win at 57-54, keeping them in position maybe for an NCAA tournament bid. Sometimes, though, it's not about numbers, but about heart. During a timeout, Izzo looked at Marcus Taylor in the eye and told him to take over. Said Taylor later, I kind of smiled a little bit because I realized what I had to do to win this game. The Spartans record against ranked teams, 5-5. Five and five. A big opportunity. Number 12, Oklahoma State in Columbia. Sports Center showcase, and here we go. Early in the first, you look better for the Cowboys. Melvin Sanders with the steal coming down. Sanders, who's cooking steak, throwing it down. Cowboys muscular early. Later, Cowboys by eight. Pass picked off on the run. Victor Williams, 19 points, four assists. Quinn Snyder down by nine at the half at home. Need a big second half. Kareem Rush hitting a jump shot. Rush had no points in the first half. First field goal of the game for Kareem Rush. Tigers down four. Rush for three. Rush. It's two for eight from three. Eddie Sutton, a little worried now. His lead down to one. Trayvon Bryant, the miss. But Arthur Johnson at 18 points. Firing that down. Tigers down one later, those who picked this up. And Rush yet again, another three. 16 points all in the second half. Later, Tigers by one. Rush for three again. No, not this time, but rebound. Johnson working hard in the paint and rolls through. Missouri by three. Oklahoma State down by five. Melvin Sanders. Oh, not done yet. No, no, no. Knocks down a three. It's a two-point game. Missouri by two. Less than 25 seconds to go inside the miss. Ricky Paulding, do you bring it out? Do you shoot? He shoots. Eight down. Paulding with 21, less than 10 seconds to go. Tigers by three, Johnson at the line. No, won't go, Rush, on the foul. And Missouri with a big win against a top 15 team in front of a lot of eyes in a big spot. 20 wins for the second straight year under Quinn Snyder and a good thing to close out Sunday against number one, Kansas. Kareem Rush, three for 15 in this game and the go figure department, Clarence Gilbert, 12 for 17 from three over the weekend against Colorado, 0 for seven from deep here. Missouri makes it five Big 12 teams with 20 wins. The Tigers and Cowboys tied for fourth in the league at nine and six. Oklahoma State closes its regular season hosting Texas A&M on Saturday. Missouri and Texas should make it six teams from the conference reaching the big dance. Big Monday began Monday night on ESPN with UConn against BC. I was concerned by the fact that Saturday we, we sensed first place and I was concerned that we might have a letdown. Conversely, I thought we actually played better um, defensively, particularly the first half. Uh, we also probably caught BC in the night with the ball didn't go in the basket for them. Even sometimes when they had good shots, the ball wasn't falling for them. One reason that they have won the East Championship. Walls not off to a good start here on senior night. Three on two to Lee Brown. Quick to the cup. Nobody stopped the ball. Gron was just magnificent. Um, he really was. And, uh, his strength and his ability to handle the ball and do all the things that he does do. I mean, he just was, he was just, uh, 
unbelievable on, on the woods. And, and, and you know, although it says five block shots, and I'm sure that's probably exactly what he had, I would think it'd be closer to 10. UConn wins at 75-61. Mika Okafor indeed five blocks, a school record 116 now for the season. Karan Kent State Golden Flashes. These are the super golden flashes. Faster than a speeding bullet. Editor's embellishment. And Trevor Huffman got the hoop. More powerful than a locomotive. Mitchell the block on Rashawn Brown. John Edwards. Little swat. Six blocks for Kent State. Able to shoot over tall defenders in a single bound. Huffman, 19 points. Look, they're up in the sky. It's a bird. It's Eric Thomas throwing it down. They're gonna help me with this. I needed some 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 practice. That's it. The Super Golden Flash is tying the Mac Conference record for wins in a season with 16, 23 and 5. On the, I did love that show as a kid. Kent State by 10. School record winning streak now at 14. They will be the top seed in the Mac tourney. Again, Trevor Huffman at four assists added to his 19 points. I didn't help you, but I'm going to need your help here. The Salukis of Southern Illinois, 23 and 6, coming into their game against Bradley. What's a Saluki? Is this a Saluki? No. Snoop Doggy Dog, that's not a Saluki. That beautiful dog, Brian, is a Saluki. Traces back to Samaria 7,000 years ago, recognized in the U.S. since 27. Was once known as the Royal Dog of Egypt. And oh, by the way, Southern Illinois is known as Little Egypt. Who knew? And Williams for three. How did I know you were going to come up with that? Williams for tw 24. Salukis did their tricks. Well, you get four in a row. Get it back. Roberts, he had 22 in Southern Illinois. Goes on a 184 73. Saluki pumps Little the court. And they clinch the Missouri Valley Conference regular season title, 84-73. They uh, win the title because they win the tiebreaker with Creighton because they beat Creighton twice during the regular season. Southern Illinois now a good bet for a spot in the NCAA tourney, but it's getting to be bubble time. Mountain West basketball, Fran Fraschilla's team in New Mexico going for number one, first place Wyoming. A rough start, Ruben Douglas missing the three. Patrick Dennehy, Patrick Dennehy, they're Brian Dennehy. You're playing scared! What are you scared of? Dennehy again, no. Look at Lobos in the first nine minutes. One for 14 from the floor. One for four from the free throw line. Lobos at warm up. St. Hugh Perry. Then Douglas for three. Lobos last 11 minutes of the half, 11 for 18 shooting, two for four from three, led it by three at the half. Second half, Lobos by seven. Eric Chatfield getting the board. Chatfield, oh, ball! Stop that man. And New Mexico pulls it off. Beats Wyoming by nine. Ruben Douglas had a game high 28. He is the winningest basketball coach in his school's history. He has won a national title and has been to the NCAA tournament 14 of the last 15 years. But Nolan Richardson is in the middle of a 5-9 and nine SEC season, which, in his frustration, led to a remark about Arkansas buying out his contract, which led to the school chancellor saying he expected Richardson to complete his seven-year contract, which then led to this, a coach-on-the-brink tirade at a Monday news conference. The greatest thing going for the University of Arkansas is Nolan Richardson. Now, secondly, all the key football players talk to Nolan Richardson. Why? Anybody know? I guess not. I've earned the right to have the type of season I'm having. I feel sorry for you, Bob, because I don't have time for you anymore. Do not call me ever on my phone, none of you, at my home, ever again. When I look at all of you people in this room, I see no one look like me, talk like me, or act like me. Now, why don't you recruit? Why don't the editors recruit like I'm recruiting? My great-great-grandfather came over on the ship, not Nolan Richardson. I did not come over on that ship. So I, hope, I expect to be treated a little bit different because I know for a fact that I do not play on the same level as the other coaches around this school play on. I know that. You know it. And people of my color know that. My practice will be closed to the media from this day until I decide when I open it again, if I ever open it again while I'm still the basketball coach here. I hope we're all on the same page. 
Thank you. You're open now. You can run that on every TV show in America. Now that'll make it. Richardson said he thinks he's earned the right, as you heard, to have the season he's had, which right now stands at 13-13 and 13 overall. He did say his practices are now closed, adding, quote, I will not answer to the media, I will not answer to the fans or anybody else. Arkansas is back on the floor at Mississippi State.